Joe, let's go back to uh, director Sam Peckinpah, mm -hmm. uh, Junior Bonner, Steve yeah. McQueen. What kind of director was he to work with? Pain in the ass. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Steve McQueen was wonderful, and yeah. every time I felt like whipping Sam, Steve would come over and settle me down. Every time he felt like whipping Sam, I'd go <laughs> settle him down. <laughs> he and I, Steve and I played brothers, so we sort of took care of each other like brothers. Yeah. And mm. 60s, of course, a cool hand Luke yeah. with Paul Newman. Uh, what do you remember of that experience, and did you think at the time that that was going to become a, a classic motion picture? Oh, I don't know. It was the first movie I was ever in. I had no idea what it was going to do or not do, you know. I remember uh, I'd, done, I'd done some television, and before that, and they always rushing you in television. And then on the, doing a movie, you sat around a lot, and that just drove me crazy in the very beginning. I thought, why don't we go work? What are we doing here, you know? Why are they bringing us out here and not working? So it took a while to get used to that. But um, I had no idea it was going to be what it was. You know, I was just starting, so I was just happy to be there. You know, I've always been fascinated with movie sequels. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people, of course, remember you for Walking Tall. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide not to do the second film? Well, uh, unbeknownst to us when we were making, the, I mean, this is alleged, I don't know yeah. if legally, you know, whatever, so this is alleged. Unbeknownst to us, uh, they made that movie to be a tax shelter loss. They opened it in terrible locations, gave it terrible ads, and it did lose in the very beginning here in America. But uh, a man picked it up and took it to the Orient, and it went wild over in the Orient, made a lot of money. So then they brought it back and re-released it and made a lot of money. So when it came time for the sequel, the uh, writer, the guy who wrote it and produced it, the director and the cinematographer and, and I told them what they could do with their sequels. You know, because it's the old thing of you uh, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. So we figured, you know, since they tried to make the thing a loss and, you know, tried to sh slough it off like it was nothing, why should we help them make a sequel? So they had to go get all new people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a little revenge, you know. <laughs> you, you know, you played um, some... See, uh, Buford actually was going to do the sequel. They tested him and he, uh, he passed and they signed a contract that one morning. Mm -hmm. That night they had a party in the uh, adjacent town, and on the way back from the party, he had the car wreck and died. Yeah. You know, you've uh, you've played a lot of uh, good guys. You played some memorable villains, uh, especially in uh, Fletch, where you faced down uh, Chevy Chase. Chevy. Over the years, what kind of interesting reactions have you gotten from people who've seen you in the street? Uh, do they ever identify you with uh, being some kind of evil character? Uh, I don't know. Evil. See, when you play evil guys. You, Evil people don't think they're evil. They think they're just normal human beings doing normal things. So you play it as a normal person doing these things. Uh, the only real reaction I've ever gotten is I'm from Texas, and uh, sometimes when I go back to Texas or some of the Southwest area, uh, there's some guys that want to get very macho all of a sudden. Like, I don't know, they still think that we hit each other, actually hit each other in movies. They think of fighting a movie is you start fighting and whoever wins, wins. <laughs> so, but I run into a lot of that when I go back to Texas. Um, so when I do go back, I just usually stick with family and friends, you know, old friends, and then uh, come on back. So I don't get out much anymore. <laughs> you know, in the late 80s, I had the great pleasure to go what, to what was then Leningrad. Uh, it's a beautiful city. Uh, when you went there to shoot your stuff, or your portion of the scenes there, uh, what were you anticipating and what kind of surprises did you find? Well, actually, we uh, had to cancel out the first unit going to St. Petersburg. Um, they sent the second unit and did a lot of stunts. And then they had so much trouble with people, everybody demanding payoffs and this and that and all this. And then finally it just got to be a pain in the neck, so they said, to hell with it, we'll just double London for St. Petersburg. So they uh, made uh, the racetrack out there in London. They made it to the airport and oh. they built uh, uh, a Russian street on an old, old, old Rose Royce factory grounds. So uh, we didn't actually get, the first unit didn't actually go to St. Petersburg. Right. The stunt people did. Yeah. You know. Now and also uh, an important question about the automobiles that you drive in this car. Uh, the uh, the putt-putt car versus the BMW uh, what were the different uh, <laughs> handling characteristics? Well, the putt-putt car looks so little that I didn't think Pierce and I could get in that thing. But once we were in there, there's a lot of headroom and leg room. And it ran real well for a sewing machine. <laughs> <laughs> it did. It had a little motor in there. And it ran a lot better than I thought it would run. 
And then the BMW was just a beauty. It's, it was only a four cylinder, it was experimental. Now they're coming out with a six cylinder. But that four cylinder would really run. Let me tell you, I don't know what that six cylinder is going to do. But it had great control. When I dug out of there one time, on one of the takes, I hit the grass and got turned sideways. And I was floating sideways, you know. And, uh, but the car didn't move at all, it just stayed steady. Even though I was sliding sideways at a big speed, it wasn't any of this stuff. I didn't feel any danger I was going to turn over or anything. It's really a great car. Yeah.